the Prime Minister Dr. Rakana Rugunda accompanied by the Minister for Lands Betty Amongi, the Minister of Disaster Preparedness Hilary Ronek, the State Minister for Tourism Godfrey Chiwanda, made his first stop in Gulu on a fact-finding mission to resolve the dispute between the Acholi and Madi communities over the land in Apa in Amuru district. The Prime Minister met the MPs from Acholi at the residence of the Paramount Chief, Rod David Achana II, where they presented their concern. Clark South County MP Gilbert Olanya first tried to scatter around the problem. There is some serious move. There are other people who are playing tricks. And Ugo, to be fair, you should tell us when you say they, is it the Minister of Lands? They, is it the President? Or oh, perhaps the Prime Minister? So let's be, we are on a fact finding mission, be as exact as possible. Thank you, so that we don't Thank you, beat right. around the bush. Uh, if there is any information, concerning someone, then we will go and investigate it. The person I'm referring to is there Robert Ali. He was there in that place two weeks ago. And it's not a first he, he, he traveled with some team, they were taking the pictures, and immediately he left that place. Three days after, people started killing the community of Atonia. Also of concern to the political leaders is that the government in 2005 sold part of the land in Napa to a South African investor to open a sport hunting business. A letter objecting to that activity, and I said it was not done correctly. Either government will just say, Ah, we have allocated for you this piece. Because if it is done, which is not lawful, mm -hmm. it cannot be operative. It is as simple as that. So, really, you as political leaders should be able to stand on your feet and say, No, that is not possible. Because government must be rational government must do things legally. So, it's not a hidden thing. The MPs claim that at least eight people died in the recent clashes in Apa, which left hundreds displaced on both sides. The leaders blamed police for not acting on time to prevent the killings. We talked about having a police force, a police station in Apa, because of the volatile situation that we had already seen. And nothing was done. <laughs> the clashes allegedly broke out over eight days ago and intensified with the killings on Thursday. However, the affected communities are yet to receive relief supplies. People have no food. They actually no, have nowhere to, to sleep. Can government send some help? It was never done. The LC5 chairperson of Amuru, Michael Akony, described the gruesome nature of the killings. One person whom actually the body is light is in mortuary now. The, the manner of that killing was too unique. They, they, they actually open up and remove the liver. They chop the leg and tie the cassava on the leg. On the leg. They chop the arm and actually pluck the eyes. That is sacrificial. Lakony also told the Prime Minister that the discussions to resolve the land conflict must involve cultural leaders. Where you are, you are, we are meeting now, it is the authority that be in Acholi. When you actually pass this level, then you are going to God. A 2012 report by Makere University's refugee law project into the APA land cites the ambiguous administrative position of APA and claims to whether the land is a game reserve or customary owned as other factors causing tension in the area. The Paramount Chief, David Achana II, urged the government to take action against individuals fueling the land conflict. Uh, to me, I spoke with the Road of Madi. They, were, they held a meeting yesterday. And I told him to tell the people of Madi that the matter that is happening in Napa should be isolated. It's an individual case with individual people. It should not be a matter between Acholi and Madi. It's not clear when the political and cultural leadership from Amuru and Ajumani will sit on a round table, discuss peace and ensure there is tranquility within the contested APA area. Some say it's the best solution because it was stated in 1926 when Emin Pasha called both chiefs who sat together, feasted together and ensured they lived in harmony. And it is the very peace that have been enjoying for so many decades. Sudil Vyarhanga, NTV Amuru District.